we head to Kansas for the first time since Season 2 for race number 5 of the chase. After today, there will only be two races left in this season. Christian Russell starts on the pole for today's event, your points leader. And starting to the outside of him is Mohamed Zen Abdallah. Third is Peter on Jack. Fourth is Mathis Wells. Right at the top five is Jay Jefferson. Marks the qualifying order on the left side of the screen. Three of the top five are chasers, and they're all on the inside. Let's see how this goes. 41 laps around Kansas. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're racing. On Jack, almost made a three wide under the 88 and the 51, but 51 clear on the outside. He's going to try and clear the inside now, but On Jack is there. Ran it a bit wide that time, though, and Jefferson follows him side by side. The lead lap number one, it's the 17 by just an inch. They're almost four wide back there. They are. 36 hits the wall though. It's gonna fall back and we got side by side between two chasers. Jay Jefferson and Peter on Jack. Jefferson's gonna get it, but the 88 runs it low that time. Here he comes for the lead. And now the two is gonna run it lower. He's gonna go down to the apron. Johnny Gardner to the point. And now they're four wide on Jack. Near contact with J Joe Jefferson, and now Jay Jefferson in the wall. He's gonna fall back big time from this, possibly all the way to last, nearly. As look at the 27, that's an extremely risky move he made. This is just a disaster waiting to happen. 66 running it very high, but he keeps it off the wall. There's the man who lost a whole lot of points after Talladega, Joey Cobra. As Steve Wallace Jr. on pit road. But now we got a battle for the leads. It's Anton Chalbois and Christian Russell. Chalbois got the nod that time. But now, second in points, Keegan Thompson. He is approaching. Back here with Riley Snare. All this while the 51 stuck on the outside. A 31, making a three wide under Rakowski and Barlow. He's a chaser, but he's very far back. He's ninth in points, minus 65 from Russell. It's pretty unlikely that he makes it to Homestead, basically, but he still can win these next three races, so it's not mathematically out of the equation. Thompson's going to make it down low, three wide. Now they're almost four wide again. Look at these guys use the apron. Evan Hunter. He's a full race back from the points lead. He'll need Russell to finish last and for him to finish first to you mean grasp for the points lead. But he's making his way up front. Keegan Thompson, the man who's battling Christian Russell right now, gained some points after Talladega. He's now just 16 back of the 51. Looking to win here today. But Russell, speaking of him, he's made it to the inside, but he might just get put to the outside immediately by the 99 of Aiden Shepard. And now Shaw Boss is going to go to the inside of Keegan Thompson. So now we've got the top two in points stuck on the outside lane. While well, Barlow takes advantage of the situation and goes to the inside. Hunter as well. Lagacy along with them. Oh, the 13 is going to hit the wall as well as the 51. Uh, so they're both in the wall. Top two in points. Scrape it big time. And they'll be back here with Jay Jefferson, the 48. 
Where is he, by the way? All the bet, all the way back here, basically last in the pack. So back up front, the twenty leading. Hunter is still diving it down low. And is that Thompson who's already back? It is. So Keegan Thompson already back. He didn't drop too far. Well, Russell, on the other hand, is all the way back here. He's still losing spots to Diego Yepes and others on the inside lane. Jefferson might just pass him with the wall earlier in the race. This is a big opportunity for these guys. Eleven slides up, leaving room for the twenty as teammate. Seventy-eight on the inside as well. Six was there, but he slid up. That was a 20 that time, but by another close margin. Here comes the 38 down on the bottom. Now he makes a dive bomb down low, but Eli Bright, once again, he's going to go lower down to the apron. They both go down to the apron. Right. They're going to be inside, looking to turn one, but now the 93 is going to take it to the inside once again. There's still three wide for the lead. Oh, they're wrecking. It's Barlow. Zydell. Onjak gets in it again. Will the 51 miss it? I think he just got a piece. He did. Points leader Christian Russell in the wreck. Kovra, two. Jefferson might have been in it. Barlow basically got the worst of it out of all the chasers. On Jack actually missed it. So this is big. 32.99 on pit road. Well, the 51 is gonna have heavy damage to his rear end, it seems. Yeah. Will he hit the pits? He will not. Thinks he can stay. So let's see what happened here down the back stretch with Barlow. That was the first caution of the day. It happens on lap 14. Oh, the 36 of Wells. He blew up. So the, basically the only reason this happened is 36 blowing an engine, he gets turned, Barlow coming back up, nails the 32, this isn't really the best place to see it, but they all scatter to the outside wall, and we'll have to see how bad the 51's damage is. He's scraping the wall. I think Jefferson might have actually gotten more damage than him. Yes, he did. We'll have to continue watching this closely to see if that was contact. Because Christian Russell may have just avoided it I saw this I thought he would have gotten big front end damage but he actually avoided it just by inches Culver was in this as well
They're just all piled in. This is the one spinning around in circles. It's going to collect a lot of people. Including possibly your points leader. He has damage to his rear. Will it be enough to put him off the pace or will he keep going? It was actually Code Red who led them to the line. With a 13 and second. Back green. The 13 and 31 battling. Cobra and that's it. So Cobra's the only chaser out. Question is, how's that 51 running? Not that great. Not too off the pace, but. It's pretty bad. He's going to be back in 30th. If he stays where he is right now. He's just going to hope for a top 30 finish. As Chaser Evan Hunter takes the lead. And if he doesn't wreck, it's a guaranteed points lead uh, steal by Thompson, basically. So the 20 is going to dive it down low, below two chasers. Now Friesen's going to go lower. That worries me for the 11. Is he going to scrape the wall? No, he's not. He's just going to keep it off. But now on Jack. Trying to make a comeback. Reason down low, he's one of the people who are so far back that it's going to be really hard for them to catch up. They're still mathematically in it, as we've still got three races left. But Al Agassi, he's, he's realistically in it. He's full race, but there's a full race between him and Russell, but you can still get that back. Russell has the next two races be bad ones. 38 continues to lead, but the 27 with a big run of the 17 for second, he might be a challenger for this thing at the end. Is that hit the wall? One of the more drama drivers, the 20 of inch in trouble, and the 16 as well. That might allow Hunter to move back up. Yeah, Russell's basically out of it. Here comes Mills. Someone else might have just hit the wall. It's code red. So red comes off the wall. It's going to slow down snare. We're going to see a bunch of people going by on the inside. Now he might hit it again. No, he's not. Back to the lead. Al Legacy. Now Kyle Hunter in the wall. He drops back. Hunter getting more spots off of this. So Legacy continues to lead. If he wins, I'll definitely put him back into the point spite. We're just about halfway. Oh, that's another yellow. 
Who's involved? Who is involved? Let's see. There. Here's Kyle Hunter. So this might have just been a single car spin down the front stretch. He's, he's scraping the wall again. The MWR teammates. I want to also get involved. Snare just got by, but his teammate Halleck wasn't so lucky. Yeah, he came down the racetrack into the 15. There's no doubt about that. 15 saved it. After going for a minor spin. So it's Mills, your leader. I was, when I said halfway, I wasn't even close. We're almost done with this race, actually. We're under 10 laps to go. There's the restart. No additional cars out from that accident. So now it's Lagacy back to the lead. Very hungry for this victory. I don't think he's won yet this season, but it's going to put him back in the fight if he does. In fact, I think it might even put him back in the points lead, but I'm not sure. Or back in the points lead. Uh, he hasn't really taken it yet. So he'll be a new points leader. If Thompson wins... He's, he's really in position right now to take it. But if he wins, that'll be big, as he'll gain a good 10 spots or more on Russell in points. So yeah, Thompson being out front, that's big. Four wide back here. With a 38, up top they get out of it. Are they going to blow right by him? Or they're going to go four wide again. Right, still looking to the bottom of the 88. The 83 is going to be the one to hit the wall. And Hamill continues to lead. And right now there's no chaser on the inside. With the 11 and 13 nearly making contact. It's been a really che uh, checkers or wreckers chase for Eli Bright. He's had two finishes in the top 10. But... Also, two in the bottom 20. So he's trying to become more consistent. As Smith tries to run down the six. And if any chaser is going to win this race, it'll be either Bright or Hunter. As the 13 can use to fall back. Here it is for the lead. Patrick Smith under Hamill. In the six. Oh, Hunter's going to look to the inside of Eli. 
He knows he's closer to that points lead than he is. He's going to take third away. With just two laps to go, he'll go to the inside of Hamill. But now he slides up the racetrack. That's going to leave room for Friesen. We'll have to look out for him. Friesen down low. And that's going to be big. That's probably going to eliminate Hunter from winning this race. Just one lap to go. Can Friesen run him down? Or no. Roger Ray is going to pull to the inside for second. Hunter now on the outside in danger of being passed by the 13 now. But off of turn number four, first win of the season for Patrick Smith. And some big money gains for Thompson, Hunter. Reason, but he's pretty far back. And somewhere in here is Bright. Oh, he actually fell down to 19th. Jefferson got 22nd. He's, I think he's consistently around that area. So it hasn't been really good in contrast to his season 3 chase where he came up runner up to Oskin. There's Patrick Smith winning the day. Roger Smith, or uh, Roger Ray, jeez. He got second. Johnny Gardner third. Jose Mills fourth. Carter Friesen fifth. Keaton Thompson got sixth. Evan Hunter seventh. Derek Hamill eighth. Code Red ninth. And Muhammad Jan Abdallah running at the top ten. The rest of the finishing results. We had 34 cars on the... In the race, 35th on down, out, only chaser out today was Joey Cobra in the 98, but a few were off the pace, like Christian Russell, which, where is he, 26th, it could have been worse, but Thompson's definitely got this points lead with Hunter, Right behind. Probably less than 20 points between them now. And that's it for race 22. Go to victory lane with the 78 of Patrick Smith. Thank you for watching the Corsair Pro Series. We'll see you next time.